This video is a quick example of how to use the rotation speed script for use on racing wheels in games. In this basic example, I've already added a wheel and applied the basic rotation speed swap, swap script to the object. Um, what we're doing in this object is we're actually swapping out the mesh and also swapping out for a new material once the, the wheel reaches a certain threshold for a rotation. So when we run the game here, the object will actually roll down, starts swapping materials or mesh, and as it slows back down, it'll change back. So I've opened the scene with a more complex example. This is our stock car racing scene, and we have the new stock car model in here. So what we're going to do is apply the Unity car version of this script to this wheel. So let's go ahead and just drag the script into the wheel here. And let's go ahead and because it's using Unity car, we need to apply, we need to tell where the wheel is getting its velocity information because we don't have a uh, rigid body and data on it. And let's, because this is a more, much more simpler style wheel, we just need to swap a material. We don't need to use a new mesh. So let's go ahead and drink, bring in this new material I've got here, already pre-set up uh, of a spinning wheel. And now we also need to set the threshold. Now we're going to apply this, the Unity car version of the rotation script to the rest of the, the vehicles. So let's get to the visual meshes of the rest of the tires. Okay, so once we set our final value out of the four wheels, let's go ahead and give it, give it a try here. There. That's a way cooler effect than just having wagon wheeling, wagon wheeling wheels <laughs> for your app. So if you want some awesome looking racing wheels, go ahead and give the script a try.